the third Sunday in Easter, Year B, from Psalm 4. Many are saying, Oh, that we might see better times. In the name of the God of all times, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is risen indeed, and our world needs to know what difference that makes when we desperately need to see better times than these. Our readings for today respond to that urgent question by asking us to see and acknowledge what is right in front of us, drawing hope from the knowledge that Jesus is here with us in the midst of our reality. When Jesus first appears to the disciples, they're terrified because they do not understand what's right in front of them. Jesus patiently shows them more. In the book of Acts, Peter addresses the gathered crowd, asking why they stare at the disciples as though it was by their own power or piety that they had made a man walk. The crowd is not seeing the power of Jesus that has been revealed in their midst. Likewise, John reminds us that the world does not know us. We are God's children now, but what we will be has not yet been revealed. The world does not know us because the world did not know Jesus. But what keeps us from recognizing the presence and power of Jesus right there in front of us? How can we claim that the Lord does wonders for the faithful and yet not ask for those wonders to heal our broken and battered world? John tells us that the answer is sin. We can't see Jesus because accepting the peace Jesus offered to us as the one revealed to take away sins means acknowledging to our alienated selves that we have sins to be taken away. We're called to be witnesses to the light of God's countenance, a countenance that looks back at us not with the sneer of rejection, but with the warmth shown to beloved children who are only gradually revealing what they will be. Only when we can see ourselves and our world in the light of that countenance can we repent and turn to God so that our sins may be wiped out. In the name of that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.